advice for my critic. <laughs> advice for critics. You know, I, I sit and I, 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 I look at my job and I'm going, I'm a critic. I'm a critic. I'm a critic. <laughs> I get these people who appointed, how'd you be, how do you become a critic? How, how'd you become a critic? You know, <laughs> did you go to critic school? Do you have a degree in criticism? I don't know. Did you, uh, <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, no, I don't want to run into the water resources truck back there. No. Uh-uh. We got the, all the city of Morganton's uh, utility trucks here in our parking lot. I don't think he's supposed to park there. You know, that's the, 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 gov the, the town employees are supposed to park on the other side of the lot and leave this side of the lot for the residents. Damn it. What's up with that? Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, I thought that's the way it worked. But anyway, uh, critics, you know, the, the thing about a critic, and I, I, I lump myself in with Gene Shallot and Roger Ebert and stuff like that, is a critic has to maintain a d independence, okay? And that's not easy these days, okay? Uh, it's, not, it's never easy for a critic to maintain independence. You can't let other people control your channel. And people are always trying to get control of your channel. And one of the things you got to realize with your channel is... People that you cover are trying to control your channel. That's always happening. I get that all the time. I get nomads contacting me. Hey, cover my channel. Uh, they'll throw me some money. They'll make a donation. They'll send me some nice emails. You're such a sweetheart. They'll send me stuff in the mail. And I get that, you know. And the thing is that's hard about what I do is I still have to maintain independence and cover their channel as I see it and not let that influence mess me up. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, baby? <laughs> you get that? I get that. When I was doing my website, I'm still doing the website, but I was, I'd get radio people befriending me. Hey, come by for a tour of the station. I'll take you out to lunch. Wink, wink. You know, I want good press from you. You know what I'm saying? That's what they wanted. And you get the same thing on YouTube here. I mean, I'm, I'm, people are constantly trying to influence me. And I understand it. And I, I look, I'm not going to say... I don't want to be friends with people. I don't want to talk to you. But there, I get people that befriend me, uh, whether they invite me over to stay with them or they call me on the phone every day or they send me emails. And they're, yeah, I know what they're, you know, they're friendly and I enjoy talking to them and I enjoy getting their point of view and I enjoy hearing how they want to interact with a, with a critic. But you got to be careful because certain people want to control your channel. They want to influence you. They, and sometimes they want to influence, you know, the way you cover them. You know, they're very, very concerned that you're going to give them positive coverage. So they will become very friendly to you. And you become, you get this very friendly relationship with a certain YouTuber, a, a nomad, a former nomad, whatever. And then you, it, you think it has become a really cool friendship. And now you're going out of your way to, you know, protect that person or to defend that person. And, and then you become almost blind to their their particular faults you know what I'm saying do you know what I'm saying and you know and you lose your independence you lose your your you know critical thinking <laughs> and you, I, I've had that happen on my channel so many times I can't count them all from you know various people who, who invite me to their place and I stay there for a little bit and they're real nice to me and then they start issuing orders. You know, I don't want you covering this person anymore. And why do you cover that person? And I, I'm not, you know, and I'm like, wait a minute. Ho, ho, ho. Wait a minute here. It's my channel. You know, and I have to do that. I have to put my foot down. And, you know, and, and you do make friends here on YouTube. At least you think you make friends on YouTube. But are they really your friends? You know, you've never met them probably, or maybe met them once or twice. And you, and it, it's okay to have friends on YouTube. It's okay to have friends with the nomads. There are certain nomads out there that have come by to visit me and we go out to lunch and they've been nice to me and they send me things, but you gotta not, you gotta be careful and not let them run your channel, you know, or control your channel. And that's one of the reasons why I have a very well, it's, it's not always as airtight as it should be. One of my rules is, if you're a mod, I can't, I'm not letting a mod control, uh, I'm not letting a moderator, which is somebody who goes on my chats and can bonk people and whatever, I'm not letting a mod 
uh, be a person that I regularly cover, okay? If you run a nomadic channel and it's a fairly large one or whatever, you will never become a mod on my channel. And it's not because I don't like you, it's that I don't think it's right to have somebody you cover be one of your moderators. It's like letting a newspaper allowing an employee of a politician to become a reporter and then they just write nice things about a particular politician. You know, the mayor's assistant, a paid assistant to the mayor becomes your political reporter and now that person is reporting on the mayor. Well, what are they gonna do? They're gonna write nice things about the mayor. And I see the same thing with me, you know? I, I'm, you know, my mods are people that are, you know, don't have channels or if they do have channels, they're not ones I cover, okay? And that's how I do it. And there have been particular nomads that have come to me and said, I want to be a mod on your channel, wink, wink, you know, and I uh, want to be friendly with you, wink, wink. And I just simply say, look, you know, I, I cover your channel. You're too much of a nomad. I can't let you be a mod. I, you know, I do maybe like you, but I have to, yeah, and it is awkward when somebody's been really nice to you and then you have to do a video about them when they're doing something you think is wrong or you want to be, you know, brutally critical about it. it. There is very awkward situations that come up when you're a nomad. You know, it's like a, I mean, when you're a critic, you know, it's, oh, there's a nice camo Jeep. Whoa, whoa, not camo Jeep, but olive green Jeep. Holy cow, I gotta go check that one out. Look at that, isn't that nice? Hold on a second here. My mind, I am in the market for a vehicle. You know what I'm saying? Okay, here we go, let's go. Let's do a swing by here. <laughs> Isn't this nice? That is perfecto. That's what I need. I need one of those, a Sport Wrangler Jeep. Man, that is nifty. Isn't it? Look at the color, that olive green. That's what I need, man. That's what I need. Send me one. Send me one. <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. Anyway, so that's it. Don't let, if you're, an, if you're a critic, don't let your... Uh, the people you cover run your channel for you or try to get control over it. And it's insidious and it can happen and you don't even know it. I was watching an interview, uh, ooh, anyway, the camera's, yeah, wait, anyway, sorry about the camera. Anyway, I was watching a video the other day, Carol Burnett, remember Carol Burnett, the famous comedian that had the TV show on CBS for so many years? Dick Cavett, remember him? He, she was interviewing her and she said the same thing. She said, you know what? People get, they take this thing too seriously. I am, I am an actress and I'm, we're having fun here. We're pretending, we're doing comedy skits. It's all pretend. We're like little children in the backyard pretending. And some people take it so seriously and get all bent out of shape over it. You know, we're just, we're just kids basically having fun. And it's, we're, you know, having, putting it on television. And she said, you can't take it too seriously. And it's the same thing with YouTube. We're just kids having fun <laughs> lousy cameras we, you know we can't take it too seriously once you start taking it too seriously and you get you're starting to get all upset about things really angry about youtube and as mr line screw one has always said line youtube is not real you're getting so upset about stuff that's not real and with just play acting from s silly kids <laughs> then you gotta take a take a look in the mirror and go where, what have I done? What, are, what have I, what is this, what's happening to me? <laughs> anyway, remember, if you're gonna be a critic, keep your independence. It's sometimes hard, but it's, you gotta be constantly vigilant about that. And you're not gonna win any friends over that, believe me. Critics, if you wanna be loved, if you really, really, really wanna be loved in the world, get a dog, but don't be a critic, okay? Vlog under.